In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Launchpad Mini with older versions of Live, such as Live 9 and Live 8, and give you an overview of the functions on the Launchpad. Your Launchpad Mini will work as a standard MIDI controller inside older versions of Live, and you're able to create custom templates inside Novation components to be mapped inside Live. However, you won't be able to take full control of Live Session View or Mixer. You are able to control these functions in Ableton Live 10, so click on the link below if you'd like to install your free copy of Live 10 Lite. Connect your launchpad to your computer using the provided USB cable. Open the preferences by going to Option Preferences on a PC or Live Preferences on a Mac. Then go to the Link MIDI tab and ensure that the settings are configured as shown on screen. Your Launchpad Mini is now set up and ready to use with older versions of Live. The three powerful custom modes allow you to easily control anything MIDI from your Launchpad Mini. The Keys mode represents a traditional piano keyboard layout, which you can use to perform your melodic ideas. You can use the Drum mode to control drum racks or kits, and the User mode can be totally customized to control anything using note messages, MIDI CC or control change messages, or program change messages. You can create your own templates, browse existing templates, and back up your templates using Novation components, which you can learn more about at novationmusic.com forward slash components. We'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new launchpad. If you are, then that's great, and we're excited to show you the next steps in your launchpad journey. But if you require any further assistance, then we can direct you towards our support team.